guys in this video let's see how to create a ci cd for on-prem deployment i have seen many videos have no clarity on how to do ci cd for on-prem deployments on youtube in this video you know i'm going to give clear picture how can we implement this ci cd on prem let's go ahead and see so in for this video, I'm going to use Azure DevOps as a platform for creating the CD. So I hope you all have the code uh, pushed into your repo. So here I have pushed the code and the repo name is Hello World. And here, uh, let me first tell you like what is the first thing that we have to do uh, to uh, you know enable ci cd for on prem deployment uh, open pom.xml file of your project and in here you should see a maven mule maven plugin okay so under this you should have to add a configuration of type on deployment okay so in this we have to give application name mule version of your application and as we are going with the on-prem you need to give the server name right you know you and target type would be server because that is an on-prem deployment and you also if you have any Variables you can give uh, here. I have one variable called environment, right? And we are going to use connected app for all the permissions uh, for the Anypan platform. Okay, like for example, if you have, for example, we have to download the RAML, right? So we need to have the permissions instead of going with the user ID and password, we are going with the connected app. Okay, here we need to give the connected app client ID and connected app client secret and the connected app grant type is client credentials, right? So this is the main thing that we need to configure in pom.xml file. And after this, so we are done with uh, configuration in our app, right? Now let's go ahead and create the pipeline. So for CICD, we have two types of pipelines. One is the build pipeline and another one is the release pipeline. In build pipeline, what we are going to do is we are going to create a package, right? We are going to create a package and then we are going to use that package in release pipeline in order to deploy the app. So click on pipelines and here click on new pipeline. and here select the classic editor use classic editor here you need to select uh, the project you have to select the project and repository you know repository is where your code is pushed to so here hello world is my repository name and you have to select the branch so and then click on continue Right here, click on empty job. And here we need to uh, add few jobs to our agent. Okay. So here, type Maven and add this. And type secure download secure file add this one also and add cache search for copy to and add this okay copy files We also need to add publish artifact type publish publish pipeline artifact add this okay so now so here we need to give our goal so here i'm giving it as package 
so that we can create a package for our application. So here in secure file, we need to give the settings.xml file. Okay, so you can, uh, if you have it uploaded, it shows something like this, a settings.xml file. Else, so click on this button, click browse and browse for your settings uh, settings.xml file and click open, right? And that will get uploaded and you can uh, see that here, right? And let me show you what this settings.xml should contain. Okay, uh, so in settings.xml, we should have a server with an ID mule repository and company name. For example, if you are uh, you know creating this CICD for some client, you should have to give that company name dot nexus and nexus password. Okay and then in you need to add one more server uh, with an id any point exchange and you know you, should, you, you can give whatever version you want you can give v2 v3 and the username have to be as is some, same like this and in the password you should give the client id and client secret of the connected app that you have created in any point platform okay and also you have to add a repository under profiles with the id endpoint exchange v2 and name is exchange repository then you should have to add a url something like this containing your organization id you know and you can find this organization id in any platform okay uh, i have all these configured let me show you those we want to build pipelines. So here you can see uh, this order is mandatory. You need to follow this order. Okay. So here we need to give an output variable name. So I'm giving it as MVN settings, right? And we are going to do some catching. Like, for example, from POM file, we need to download all the dependencies, right? So instead of downloading it every time, we can catch it. And if we found something new, it, it, it will download and it, it tries to catch. In Maven POM.xml file, I'm trying to skip the minutes and this, sorry. And this is to refer the settings.xml file. Okay. And copy files too. So here we tried creating the package, right? And we are trying to select the jar file and pom.xml file. These are required in um, release. So we are going to move this content from this source directory to this particular folder. You know, this is like, this is something like a staging and we are trying to publish the artifact. So publish artifact is nothing but we are trying to publish the jar file and the bomb.xml file so that we can use them in release pipeline. So now we are done with the build pipeline. Now let's go ahead and create the release pipeline in releases. Click on releases. Uh, here click on plus new Cre uh, click on plus new release pipeline now here click empty job here we can give our stage name something like dev broad qa and all right now let's let's add an artifact okay so artifact is nothing but the one which we tried publishing just now okay we are going to select that pipeline name bp hello world right click add so that have that one got added here click on this icon for example if you want to uh, put any pre pre-deployment approvals you can do this from here so here click on job one job 
and now we need to add few jobs here type bash and add this type maven add this okay now here our goal is different it's not going to be packaged i have uh, configured this already let me show you those things here you can see in in bash script what we are trying to do is we are trying to create a variable or we are trying to set a variable which will pick our jar file which is uh, published from our build pipeline okay and then we are trying to use this variable in or deploy maven deploy so here you need to select our palm file uh, you can click on this go ahead here and in drop here you can see palm.xml select this and click ok here here ok should be enabled for you because um, th this might be the first time that you're doing, but I have already added it. So that's why it's not showing me okay here. You know, once you click on okay, you see something like this, right? And our goal is only to deploy. If you know Maven lifecycle, you know, there is something difference between deploy and mule colon and deploy. Here in mule colon and deploy, we are trying to just deploy there is a difference you know you can go ahead and there is a difference between deploy and mule colon deploy you can go ahead and search for that so we are trying to use mule deploy here and we need to pass whatever our app is expecting we are trying to pa pass uh, client id and client secret of our connected app and also the server name and the environment and also mule artifact this is our jar okay so we are trying to provide our jar over here right so this is what we have to do with this is what we have to do with our release pipeline okay now let me try triggering these pipelines manually okay so if you go ahead here and click on run pipeline click run you can see a job is running now let's go into release pipeline that should have triggered so yeah release pipeline got triggered it's in progress bash script got ran trying to deploy now let me pause here welcome back now you can see that uh, our release pipeline got succeeded that means our app got deployed in on-prem if you find the video interesting consider liking the video and subscribing for the channel thank you so much